Right, that's the viewing area, but I couldn't talk to a video, but I've videoed it in the past. <sighs> um, but I just try and get a picture of uh, Glastonbury Tor from that top there. But we'll get some better images of the tour when we get on the other side. Yeah, we've, there's a rapid growth due to the lots of wet weather we've had and the brambles and all that has just gone crazy and the ferns, if you go up on the hills ferns are looking lush, haven't they? So what we're doing now, we're going down we've been to the viewing area and we're going down these steps it's better going down than up, I can assure you <laughs> Mind you, going down, you use different muscles and it can make your legs ache. <sighs> There's another way down that you go across some fields that I've done before. But I'm not going that way today. Believe it or not, no, I'm not going that way. I just do a little bit of uh, this um, going down bit so that people are aware of the terrain. I'm various terrain I'm having to negotiate we've got two young ladies back there doing a bit of pruning because it's going to go mad when it rains tomorrow look at it, it's like a, a not a monster but you know it's, it's, it's going crazy sort of thing this tree's lending me a hand getting down you can tell men built the steps because they're so deep. A lot of us women have only got little legs. Oh, see? Let's go like that. My hip doesn't like that. Oh, my knee. That'll tell me off later. Does it hate steps? Yeah, I hate steps. My knee does. I might not have any trouble with it until I've got to do steps. Right, I'm going to turn off for right. a while. There was a woman partly lost and she was saying someone sent her on a circular route. Oh, she could have views of the gorge. Well, I think she was right over there. I didn't know whether she wanted to go up on the gorge to see it from up the top. It's a hell of a hike up. Um, I was up there earlier. I was right on the top. And I've come down the path. I wouldn't want to walk back up that way. No way. Not up, not right up there. I don't mind doing a bit of it. I think the couple that were up there when I was there are still up there. This is where she was talking about views of the gorge. Where I said, well, you can actually go to the foot of it and look at it. But I wasn't quite sure myself because I haven't been over here for a while. Ebba Gorge and surrounding woodland were given to the National Trust by Mrs. G. W. Hodgkinson in memory of the Right Honourable Sir Winston Churchill, Knight of the Garter. This stone was unveiled by his granddaughter, Mrs. Piers Dixon, on the 7th of May, 1967. Yeah, well, I don't know if that woman got up there. She'd be pretty fit if she's up there now. I think she, I don't know which direction came, she came. Because you could literally walk straight past this if you didn't know it was there. Well, I got under some shade a minute ago. Had a drink of uh, juice. Put my hat on. Tucked my jumper away because it was quite hot around my waist. And uh, just got my breath back really um, and it's much better now I've got the hat on I think I've got bit by an ant then well I've got antihistamine cream in the bag if necessary I only packed it in there last night but I've actually got a stick of antihistamine as well you rub it on 
is for stings and bites. It's too hot for me to sit here, but it's great views. But it's too hot. They should really position some, I believe, in the shade. Glastonbury, right over there. I don't know if, it, I don't know if you'll see it. Somewhere over there, I can't see it, see? Not with this camera. No, I can't see it. It's so annoying, you know. When I was used to a really good camera, all you see is your own face. It's over there. Where is it? Where's it gone? There it is. I'll just sit there a minute and see if I can hold the camera steady. Wait a minute. Oh. Put that down. Yeah. Come back a bit. Well, I saw how it came out a minute ago and I had it on a less of a zoom. I had it on less of a zoom and it came out alright. Well that's the best I can get it. With the um, camera, this one, because it hasn't got a viewfinder you have to guess. So you just literally point it and hope you can catch it. Look. All I can see is my teeth. <laughs> I think it's around about there. I don't know. Yeah. Nice view though, isn't it? You can see why they've got a seat there. I also think they should have one in the shade. Then you could still have the views. All right, enjoying the view. Great, isn't it? It is super. It's been there a long time, you know. It's been there a little minute, hasn't it? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> right, I left that running for ages a minute ago. I didn't know it was on. It's for about five or ten minutes, so it's battery. The memory might be out soon. <sighs> right, now we've got what we've got to do now and not get lost is um, there's two things I can do. One is a, a route I really know well. The other one, I've only done it. I do know it, but I don't know it because I haven't done it for a while. Um, so, we'll see what happens when we get up here. All I know is I've got to follow this track, not the one over there, even though there is one. And, uh, Then I have to branch off, I go across the stream, climb up to a big tree. I 
see, I could have come that way, it's a little bench there, look. This is probably the circular walk they told that woman about. Something just gentle for, like, children. Now, in a minute, there's a, there's a fork. We turn off and you can get on the road, cross over, and get into a field, if you want. Like I say, I haven't done it for a while. <sighs> no. But something in there has certain reference points that are kicking in to remind me. For example, here's the turning, I think. If I want to now take a route I really know well, like I've done it, I go through that gate, I can climb into another field and go back to pretty that way. What do you want to do, Shell? Or do you want to go that way? It's up past two. Um... Go on, come on, we said we'd do this route. Let's do it. Don't matter if you get home at eight. You can always catch up with these tenders. Later. It's a nice day. This is probably one of the... the last long days. If you think about it, it's getting dark. Quarter of an hour a week. Next week it would have been dark an hour earlier than it was a month ago, so... This is a, these sort of longer walks you do in the summer. Yeah, this leads me down across a stream in a minute. And it can be quite boggy if I remember. It's getting boggier as we go down this way, isn't it? Yeah, that route, that'll be very exposed up there. The only thing I can remember, just hope there aren't cows in the field further over. So it would mean having to come back this way. Or find some other way out. Um, that's the only problem. I've got no idea if I'm going to bump into cows. Um, this could be the circular walk that they were telling her about. But it is a bit rough and ready because I mean I could have done it the opposite way round. But I didn't want to do those steps again. Those big ones, the ones I came down earlier. I didn't fancy climbing up them. No way. That, it, that is a long hike up there. Right, here we go. We come down in, into a gully. Of course, they've probably done repairs. Look, if you think I haven't been here for about five years, say. And I haven't done this. Say I haven't done this for five years. Maybe six.